final game of the homestand, and it's already been a lot of thumbs up. Hi, everybody. I'm James Tobolsky. They'll look for one more win tonight. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Bruins have won the draw, and we are now underway. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. Makes a move in front. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And that's intercepted by Matthews. Here he is. Oh, oh. True competitor save just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Sack has won the draw inside his own end. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Boston's got it in their own zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Huge steal in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Matthews. Battle along the boards. The Bruins have it against the wall. The Leafs going to work on offense. Quick pass to Marner. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Boston's through center and now in the offensive end. Tries to get it over to Bertuzzi. Moves it to Matthews. Allmark's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. And now he moves it to Domi. Fires it on net. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Big time stop. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. And that's blocked away. Quick feed to Carlo. And that's knocked away. Puck scooped up by Coyle. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Across the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Allmark's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Toronto's got the puck. The Leafs carry it along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Taken along the wall by Heinen. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. across to Yarncroft. The Leafs played along the wing. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Denies him again! Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Here in the late goings of the period, we've still got zeros on the board. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And now he passes it to Bofus. The Leafs have it now. And that's intercepted by Fulton. Toronto's got the puck now. Grabs possession of the puck. Deep inside his own end. Right in front. Can he get out of pressure? Moves it quickly over to McCabe. Ending 
period, ending the pressure. 20 minutes in the books. We'll be back after a quick intermission break with period number two. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Still zeros on the board as we are now underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Toronto's coaches will certainly be pleased with that opening frame, James. In that 20 minutes, they had the majority of shots. They attacked the net and were really aggressive around it. That attack mentality needs to continue. And they'll be preaching the same stuff. Continue with the good habits. Continue with the shot selection. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Puck grab by Marner. Over the line they come. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Tosses it to McAvoy. Grabbed along the board by Lindholm. And now he moves it quickly to Pasternak. Love save and just enough of it. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Shot, score! Who's on the board? That's his first of the year. Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. The Leafs' pressure and attacking is finally paying off here as they break through with a goal in period number two. And they figure out how to solve the goaltender as well, James, throwing everything at the net the first two periods here, and finally, one breaks through. Here's a short pass to DeBrus. Can't keep a hold of it. The Leafs gain possession. And the officials are going to say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Moves the puck to Lindholm. Boston's got it against the boards. Quick pass to Lilgrim. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. The Leafs get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Trying to clear, and he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Toronto's got it along the wall. And he takes the feed. From one point man to another. And that goes off a body. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Then that's off the glass and out. And there's one non-negotiable if you're going to be on a PK, James. And that is you got to get the clear. And this is done perfectly. The score! A power play goal! Well, specialty teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James. And they took advantage of their opportunity. players don't take this shot more often, James. I mean, the back end, it is so difficult for the goaltender to read. Toronto's dialed in here tonight. Now up by two in this second period. Well, sometimes you can see and you can feel the energy of a team, and that's exactly what's happening right throughout the lineup right now. Goaltending all the way down the ice into the offensive zone. I mean, they have just put on the clinic in terms of their shots. They're finding a way to get pucks through to the net, and to be truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Leafs have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Sackers won the draw inside the neutral zone. Looks to set up at the point now. And a strong effort on that play. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. He was totally locked in on that play. Here's a chance. Stones him in front. Well, the 
Kidd is going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting in on top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Center is key, and that goes off a stick. From the open ice, they gain the line. Moves it to Pasternak. Stopped by the goaltender. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Passes on over to Yarncroke. The Leafs played along the boards. Too many bodies in the way. Quick feed to Marchand. Handles the pass from the right wing. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Here they come on the attack. That one's tough. And a beautiful save by the goaltender. The shot's come to the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Well, Scarf Knight looks like an overwhelming success based on my viewpoint here, overlooking the crowd. And these fans, young, old, doesn't matter what age you are, they're all repping them here in the building tonight. And he takes the pass. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Here's a shot! Oh, what a save in front! Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And somehow he hangs on. The Bruins are in transition. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. He's got a step! tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Oh, he got paddled by Omar. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Slides the pass over to Heinen. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Mitchell's got it in the defensive end. Slides it over to Coyle. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Reeves. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back, James Sadolsky, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Should be a thrilling conclusion to this one as period number three is now underway. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Boston's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's term, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Here's a short pass to Riley, denied by the defender. From the point, looks to make something happen. And then it got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Oh, that's a huge stop by Omar. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Leafs lead it here early in the third period. They have been dominant in the offensive area. Boston's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. How did he stop that one? I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Icing being waved off here. Well, that's great hustle and anticipation to be able to get to the hash marks first, James. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Centering pass! Oh, they couldn't complete that. Dumps it into the other end. Sends it ahead to Yarncroke. With possession along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. 
The Leafs have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Coyles won it in their own end. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And the trying to get a step. All along. Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Unleashes a cannon. Blocked in traffic. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and drops off the puck. Trying to escape the pressure. Slides it on over to Van Riemsdyk. The Bruins move it in. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Taken by Wilgren. The Leafs take it along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Brody. And he takes the feed. Too much congestion in front. Looks to set up along the point. Rips it! That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. On the attack along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Gains the zone through center. Handles it along the blue line. Here he is in front. Fantastic save. It's been a low-scoring affair, James, but it's been entertaining on both sides. Just unable to finish. And as an athlete, this can be very frustrating. You're squeezing the stick tighter and tighter with every miss. Omar's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. The Leafs will have home ice advantage when they return home to kick off a homestand and potentially put together a few wins. Boston's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Carlos lugging the puck. Boston's got it along the wall. Grabs control of it at the point. Here he is in close. Oh, a clutch save. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is. Stars make it three in a row, and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy, every single shift, they're getting it in. You can't measure heart for will, James, and that's exactly what this is. It is immeasurable. Picking up that puck off of the 50 on the bench is up and then finding a way to convert for offense that's a great play Sackas won the draw here in the open ice and less than a minute to go finally in this one and that slides right out to center ice blocked in traffic Toronto's got the puck quick pass to Kemp Great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Toronto's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Sends a pass over. Coils cross the line and gain the zone. and high fives all around as their Tandy picks up the shot out and everybody's happy tonight. Uh, you're always happy when the light doesn't go on in your end, James. <laughs> yeah. and no